In this video, we shall have a look at a table formula in Excel. First of all, our worksheet. Here we have on the detail worksheet tab, a really simple list of people with their salaries and their salary percentage increase. And we're trying to find out the new salary. We can of course do this in the usual way, but I thought I'd show you how a table formula works instead. So let's first of all convert our worksheet into a table. Select any active cell, click on the insert tab, table button, a dialog box appears, it picks up the whole range, assumes correctly my table has headers, and I press OK. I'm going to change the style to a peach style. And so, first of all, we're going to name the table itself. And this is done in the far left of the ribbon. Make sure you have table design showing. So we're going to call this salary underscore table. Now let's have a look at the formula in D2. We're going to use two symbols now, which you don't often use in an Excel formula, the square bracket and the at symbol. The new salary, of course, is the existing salary, in this case for bill £12,000, plus 2% of £12,000. So let's see how this works. Every formula still begins with the equal sign, square bracket, and the at sign. I'm going to double click on salary, which is of course the existing salary, and the square bracket, plus square bracket, at again, double click on the increase, and multiply that, square bracket, at sign, by the existing salary, and then the square bracket. So just before I press enter, you can see in the formula bar there, we have the equal sign and at salary, at increase and at salary all contained in square brackets. And that gives us not just the answer in D2, but also the whole of the answers down column D. Indeed, if you were to click onto D2, you can see there in bold the formula. And it looks really similar in D3 and D4, all created via a table formula. So there you have it, just one example using square brackets, the at sign of a table-based formula in Excel.